Hello parents and welcome to Carroll Elementary. It is great to have you here on our campus. It, today is a very exciting day because we get to enroll our newest member of the Carroll family. So welcome aboard. I would like to start by introducing you to some very important people. Um, first of all, we have Ms. Cheryl Murdoch. She is our principal and she does a fantastic job in making sure that our students have what they need and ensuring the teachers also have what they need to teach our children. Other people that you might see around campus include Dr. Hernandez. She's our assistant principal and you might see her opening the doors for your little ones in the morning. Then we have Mr. Mitchell. He's our other assistant principal here at Carroll. Then we have Ms. Dearman. She is our school counselor and you also might see her in the morning opening doors. And then we have Officer William. Officer William is in charge of making sure that our little ones are safe and she helps us around the school as well. And another person that you might see around our campus is Nurse Ramos. Um, you will, that will be the person that you will um, give your child's immunization records. And so that's another person that you're going to see around campus. Other individuals around campus include uh, Ms. West. She's the Director of Early Childhood. You might know her if your little one was enrolled in pre-K. Then we have Ms. Costin. She is our PIM Secretary. She will be the person that you will make an appointment with um, whenever you have gather all your documents. So that will be Ms. Costin and she'll be happy to help you enroll our newest members of the Carroll family. Then we have Ms. Cooksey and Ms. Vega and these two individuals will be the first people that you see when you enter the building and um, they'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have. Required documents to enroll our newest members at Carroll include your child's birth certificate, social security card, current shot record, proof of residency, and your ID. Your next steps to register, um, you must make sure that your little one is at least five years of old, five years of age by September the 1st. Um, make sure you have gathered all the documents as mentioned before, uh, proof of residency, and that could be in the form of a utility bill, such as your water bill, electricity bill, or your cable bill. You have your child's birth certificate, the social security card, up-to-date immunization record and your driver license. Um, and then finally, what you can do, you can register your child through our parent portal, or you can always come at Carol and make an appointment with Ms. Costin. Um, when you make that appointment, just please make sure that you have all those five um, pieces of documents that you need to enroll. If you are missing one of the documents, um, it will delay the process of registration. So. Um, whenever you have gathered all your documents, please make sure that you call Ms. Costin at this number and you can make an appointment um, so we can get you registered. As mentioned before, um, one of the requirements is your immunization records for your kiddo. So according to the state of Texas uh, immunization law, all children are required to meet specific immunization requirements and students shall show acceptable evidence of vaccination with her up-to-date record prior to enrollment. Um, there are certain requirements that children must have before enrolling in a Texas public school, such as up-to-date immunizations. Acceptable documentation for enrollment are records from a doctor's office, public health department, electric health record, or an official record from another school. Your child's up-to-date record will need to include the four-year booster vaccine. Delinquent, a delinquent vaccine record will result in delay of enrollment. So once again, it's just very important that you make sure that your little ones is up to date in their shot records and you present us with um, their record. I would like to introduce you our team, our kinder team. Um, I'm going to start from left to right. We have Ms. Mahoney and um, Ms. Mahoney also is our team leader for our kindergarten team. Then we have Ms. Johnson. Then we have Ms. Reyes and Ms. Jones. Uh, Ms. Mahoney, Ms. Johnson, and Ms. Jones are considered our ESL teachers. And then Ms. Reyes is also our bilingual teacher. So this is our um, team. I know that they will do an awesome job in teaching your students. And you are more than welcome after this presentation. You'll have an opportunity to actually get to meet them in person. At Carroll, you will need to wear a school uniform that follows the standardized dress code for Corsicana ISD. Uh, in the screen, you can kind of see the different colors that are acceptable for girls. They can wear a black dress or a khaki dress or even a navy blue. Uh, for as far as the bottoms, you can wear black, navy, dark khaki, regular khaki, or light khaki. 
for the shirts, just make sure they have a column and they have, um, they can be white, gray, or black, um, different shades of gold and different shades of blue um, as, as seen on the screen. Um, also, we ask our students to make sure that they wear um, closed shoes, toes, um, closed toe shoes to ensure the safety of our students. One of the many great things here at Carroll is that every student gets a free breakfast each morning. So in the mornings, whenever you're rushing out of the house, you don't have to worry whether your little one had time to eat breakfast at home because we can assure you that your students will be able to eat breakfast here at school. This is an example of what the kindergarten schedule looks like in the morning. You can see that they have breakfast, then they have English language arts, and then they go to electives. And electives includes PE, computer lab, and um, music, and art, and also library. Um, then they come back and they finish their language arts lesson. They go to lunch. Then they have a restroom break. Tiger time is considered our intervention time for reading. Then they do a little bit of science and writing. Then they go to recess, then come back and have a snack. Then they start their math block. Then they have math intervention time, which is considered our tiger time. And then finally, there's a pick up and wrap up the day. The day will be full of activities and um, different things that the kids will do. Um, on the picture up here, you can see that we have a teacher and she has a small group of students. They are currently working on letter sounds, uh, letter recognition, number recognition. Um, here is a picture of our kindergartners working on an um, activity that Ms. Carr, our librarian, has um, provided for the students and so they work on the four C's there and um, they get to do a little bit more of a STEM activities and use their creativity to build some of the structures. Um, you have a student do doing a little reading uh, with a big book and then on the bottom you see a picture of some of the activities that we have throughout the school year. Um, one of the things that we'll do in October is called read -Oween. So basically this is an opportunity where students go from classroom to classroom and listen to a book read by a teacher dressed in a costume. And afterwards they get a little treat for paying attention. And so you can kind of see here that students listening to a story um, that the kindergarten team have put together. Um, we have different programs for our students to work on. One of them is iStation. And so our students are one-to-one, -one, and meaning that they have a device for each child. And so we have different programs that the children will be able to work on, and one of them will be iStation. So here you see the little one with her headphones working on that. And then sometimes we have special guests, such as like the Grinch during Christmas. And so um, even in March, we'll have uh, Dr. Seuss who will come and see the children. So it's just a lot of fun, a lot of ways to develop the child, not only intellectually, but also um, social and emotional ways. Uh, drop off is between 7 a.m. and 7.45. You may drop off in front of the school. Um, between 7 and 7.45, we'll, we'll have helpers out here, like you can see Ms. West opening doors um, for our children. After 7.45, it's considered our day to start, so just keep in mind that after 7.45, we go inside the building. Um, but uh, that you will drop, just drop off your child in front of the building, and we'll be happy to guide them where they need to go. Pick up is at 315 and once again you will pick up your child where you drop them off which will be in the front of the building. Um, for kindergarten I want to let you know that we have two lanes. Um, the very the inner lane, the one that is closer to the curve is for our pre-kers and the lane that follows that next to it is for our kindergartners. So whenever you come and pick up your kindergartner, um, make sure you get to the be on the second lane unless you pick up a pre k or two. So if you pick up a pre-K or in a kindergartner, then you're going to get in the inner lane. Um, but we'll go a little bit more about specific pickup details uh, once it gets closer to our school, um, when it's time for you to, you know, school day. Um, yes. We look forward to having you on our campus. We can't wait to meet our newest members of our Carroll family. We are so excited to have you here. Um, I would like to welcome you to walk around the school and explore. At the end of this presentation, you will receive a little blue piece of paper and it's a passport to kinder. 
So basically what you'll do is you go around our school and it has different um, stopping places where you'll go and visit, such as the computer lab, the playground, the library, the cafeteria, and meeting our teachers. And finally, if you have your documentations and you're ready to enroll your child, we'll have someone in the front office. At the end, if you have gathered um, signatures from all of the different stations, at the end, you'll put your piece of paper in a little box and we will have a drawing for a prize for you guys. So um, it is great to have you here. We look forward to seeing our newest members and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.